right. Let's see. There's no sensible reason for the power company and work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Shotgun. Oh, shotgun. Was 
Ones back here. Huh, damn good cup of coffee, that's funny. Manuscript page, nice. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent mm -hmm. Nightingale was an asshole. Yep. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Hmm. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, literally she's coming up with the assumptions that Nightingale's a douche and that I am a mysterious writer. Mystery. <laughs> oh jeez, this cord's all tangled up now. There we go. All better. At least that's as far as I can tell. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Oh, jeez. Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Mm. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Um. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. I don't trust that. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Huh. All right. The whole thing is up here. Got it. Yay for cool thing. For ammo. Shotgun ammo. Flares and batteries. Yes. Yes, it is. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Hmm. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. Hmm. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Oh. Okay, so this is actually the part of the game where we start fighting possessed objects. Awesome. That's gonna be fun. That I could see so a fun. railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Yep. that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything that's bad.
house of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Alright, so be more aware of what was happening. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment mm. to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Oh, I thought about course. all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is <gasps> safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. <gasps> yeah. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. I have upgraded flashlight, baby. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Inanimate 
inanimate objects that had come okay. to life in his cool. books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. Right. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Do I have... No, I don't have anything else. Alright, let's go. Self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness. What's today's and episode horror. gonna be? All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Tonight's episode: a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Oh, well, Corey. Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition, but you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Uh, oh, really? Of course, okay. Mr. Durlith. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, uh, I... Okay. <laughs> um, interesting. Oh, sacrifice. What, what did you add? Oh, Mr. Durlith. Well, please, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Oh. oh, jeez. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Alvin oh, 
it learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In night spring. That's awesome. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> 